Hello, I'm Laura Wallop, and since my own Conservative Party leadership campaign has ended, I want to throw my weight, all seven and a half stone of it, behind Liz Truss, partly because we all know that she's going to win anyway, and partly because I have been picking up a little work on the side as a Liz Truss impersonator. In fact, a lot of people are saying, I do it better than she does. Now, constituents may be wondering why Liz decided not to be interviewed one-on-one -on, -one on the BBC by Nick Robinson. So let me explain. These kinds of interviews are absolute death traps for politicians. There are three conflicting sets of interests. There are the needs and wants of the great British public. They want things like the nationalisation of the energy supply so that it's owned by all of them rather than by my trust fund. They want wages that rise in line with inflation so that their standard of living isn't eroded in a compounded way year on year. And all sorts of other outrageous things. And then there are the interests of the big corporations that fund the Conservative parties. Parties, plural. Well, some of them were just work events. What they want is Britain cut off from the rest of the Europe, nobody able to leave, and then basic essentials provided to them by a monopoly who can ramp up prices as high as they like, as hard as they like, and squeeze people for every penny they have left. And then there are the wishes of that tiny group of Conservative Party members and voters who will ultimately make the decision about who your new leader is and what they want is racism. Tons and tons and tons of racism. So you see, it's incredibly difficult to do an interview like that, to look at these three sets of needs and find the right balance between the two that we actually care about. So I think she's made an excellent choice.